been smart. He, he, I, I got to give him for some uh, credit for some brains. Yeah, he, he hasn't been one of them guys buying all this crap, saying, "Look at me." Hey, I want to go. I want a fast sports car. What about an Audi R8? I don't like Audis. Why? Well, they weren't very good many years ago. Years ago, they uh, are now. Every time you saw one, it was smoking. I think they're like 153,000 or so. Yeah. What do you think? I think you could buy a house instead. Yeah, but what's that gonna do? You can't drive a house. Ryan has dominated every class he's raced. So like I didn't expect to see anything less at Motocross the Nations in 07 or any year he rides it for that matter. When he was younger, his father was there all the time and his father was hard on him, harder than uh, I think he should have been, but uh, it, it worked out all right. You can take it from those other people and it's like, it's okay. But then when you, you hear it from your dad, you know, it's kind of sets you on fire a little bit. It was pretty tough for me, you know, I would say very tough because I was a part of everything up to a point. People think that, oh, it's this glorious job of like, we're racing on the weekends and we're winning. I mean, that's all people see. It's a nasty sport, a sport that eats its young. He's a fiery guy, man. I think, you know, that red hair says it all. He's nothing but a pain in the ass and aggravation every minute of the day. The dog don't like him. He wasn't a motocross racer. That's a tough question. Pushing a button and say, supersize? He bought me these shoes I'm wearing. You know what upsets me is the bad accident he had breaking his leg. Didn't have a gosh damn thing to do with what he did. You know, was that bare spot on that concrete. He lost his launch and he knew it. The industry talk was he was done. It was career ending. Nothing was going to work. To come back from what he went through the season before and those kind of injuries, you know, a lot of guys would have quit. Having a 2011 like that, I mean, how can a guy go into 2012 and not think he's going to win? There's a lot of competition, but he destroyed everybody. Yeah.